4,200 meters up, which means it's pretty cold and it's pretty windy too. And this is a perfect place to show you some examples of some physical weathering. So one type of physical weathering is called freeze thaw weathering. Okay, and at this altitude, when it's so cold at night, the water and a bit of snow, you might be able to sort of see some of it falling down now, gets into these cracks in the wall. Okay, these cracks here. And when water freezes, it expands, and that will push these rocks apart and break this down. You can see here, the little cracks here where they've broken apart, okay, and then what ends up happening is little bits like this fall off the edges. Yeah, here, you see a crack, okay, and they've just broken off. So that's our freeze thaw weathering. Nice little rock here. Okay, you can see the crack line where it's been opened up here, where my hand is in, in that part. Okay, another type of weathering that you can see a little bit of is caused by the winds, okay very strong winds at this altitude too and the wind will pick up the dust on the floor here this dust and it will blow it with some force into the side of the cliffs here and you can see here it's kind of smoothing off the edges okay you can see that smooth little edge there okay it's not quite the same shape that you would expect it to be that's the wind scraping away might even get into some small little holes you can see here click my finger through some of the holes here those little bits here Okay, and that's again, the wind's just picking up maybe a couple of stones and they're scraping away at the sides, okay, giving it this sort of slightly weird pattern shape and just where slightly smooth edges has happened. So we've got our two types of weathering there. We've got freeze thaw weathering where the ice or the water gets into the cracks, turns to ice and breaks it apart, okay. And then we've also got the wind just with a strong um, speed, picking up dust and then just scraping away the edges giving it some of these smoother sort of shapes.